it doesn't matter what life you lead. Everyone's a fashion slave these days. Footballers, politicians, barristers. This week, find out everything that you wanted to know about a weather girl's wardrobe, but were afraid to ask. Things looking rather damp and miserable. Sunshine there for Scotland. Heavy showers into the southeast for tonight. This is going to be a fine, dry day. Tomorrow will be very overcast and wet to begin with. Once that's cleared in the morning, it's bright and fine. I wore some hipsters once with a tiny sort of skimpy top, but I think you've got to be a bit careful about showing too much flesh. But I just come back from holiday and I was brown. And unfortunately, it rained the next day. I have a, a see-through black top, which is see-through all except for that bit, which I wear with a jacket over it when I'm doing the weather. And I've sort of had comments, what was that you were wearing at the weekend? I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be showing, but it's obviously fueling people's imaginations. It's not exactly been a blistering summer so far, I'm sure you'll agree. But if there's one thing that has been raising temperatures in Britain, it's TV's weather girls. We're there in the same place at the same time every week, and the only thing that changes, well, the weather doesn't, does it? Um, the only thing that changes is what we wear. If they see me in something like this, in something flimsy, they know it's going to be quite a fine day. Temperatures today in the hot and sticky conditions in the southeast. My all-time favourite at the moment, very basic jacket, but top, top bright. Weather on TV used to look like this. And that's the weather. All like this. Elsewhere in the UK it'll be dry. But then along came live TV to loosen things up. Then it's eastern England or eastern Scotland. And now everyone wants a piece of the action. Last August, it was the last bank holiday weekend that was actually going to be decent weather. So I bought this sort of clouds bikini, sort of blue sky and clouds bikini, and uh, threw that on. I said, basically, viewers, it's the last chance to dig out your bikini this weekend, so enjoy it. So whilst in the real world, it's been more about drizzle than sizzle, on screen at least, things are definitely changing. And the viewers, well, some viewers in particular, seem to like it. I get quite a bit of amusing fan mail, shall we say. Um, I get a lot of people writing to me asking me for dates. I have heard that people do find weather girls attractive and they are people who you might like to cop off with if you were a fella. But I couldn't possibly comment, could I really? Playboy offered me um, quite a bit of money. I was a bit dubious about that because I didn't think I'd ever be able to look my friends in the face again. But there again, they probably wouldn't be looking at my face anyway, so... That's true, Emma. They'd probably be looking at your jacket, the one item of clothing that weather girls still can't seem to do without. There is an expectation that you should wear a jacket, definitely, and I guess it's because we're so closely linked to the news. I used to have a rotation at first. When I first started doing the weather, I had it sort of like cream jacket, pink jacket, green jacket, you know, and I would remember it. But now, I guess I've got too many outfits to remember. The culture shock of someone coming in on in see-through lace or a tight, tight lycra top with nipples showing through might be too much to bear. Oh, weather girl, stylish crumbs. Now, I would be lying if I said that every weather girl cuts it style-wise, but the top five in this week's Fashion League are hat. Well, they're cool. Oh, you know what I mean. At five, never happier than in a light from mini dress, it's live TV's icy Norwegian Anne-Marie Foss. You wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. At four, Sean Lloyd gets the mercury rising with the sharpest fringe and the most suggestive hands on television. This high pressure will be way across the country. On a fine day, Femioki shines bright at three. Just try not to catch her when she's overcast. This is as good as it gets. At number two, GMTV may be a style vacuum, but if you like a finely tailored forecast, tune in for Andrea McLean. As it is going to feel quite sticky and quite humid. Which means that HTV's Emma Hignett is queen of the weather girls. Bigger hugging dresses, stiff corsets and little black vests. Beat that, Ian McGaskill. Don't expect too much as far as temperatures are concerned. Uh -huh.